You're listening to the latest news on this edition of AFN Europe's News Watch on the net. I'm Leah Ortiz reporting from our studios in Mannheim, Germany. If you're traveling through London by plane, keep in mind that the government has imposed new security measures at all UK airports. AFN's Pam Portland has more. No handheld luggage is allowed effective immediately into the cabin of a plane leaving the UK. This includes purses. All passengers are advised to use a clear plastic bag for the following items. Passports, travel documents, ID cards, money, small pocket-sized wallets. Some medications are allowed. Glasses without cases. Some baby products. No purses, laptops, mobile phones or iPods are allowed in carry-on. British authorities are prohibiting all liquids, gels, beverages and lotions. Nothing is allowed in clothing pockets. These restrictions are effective immediately for air passengers traveling from or through the United Kingdom. For a complete list of allowable items and new procedures, visit the British Airways or Virgin Atlantic websites. Authorities say air travelers should expect delays as the number of passenger screenings could increase prior to boarding. Pam Portland, AFN News. U.S. European Command is urging U.S. military travelers with planned travel through the United Kingdom to monitor the U.K.'s Department of Transport website, www.dft.gov.uk. That's www.dft.gov.uk for travel advisories and restrictions. Travelers can expect delays in commercial travel through other European cities as well. All U.S. military personnel in Europe are reminded to be watchful of suspicious activity and to monitor the Department of Homeland Security and Department of State websites for threat warnings and other advisories. Summer's almost over, and it's time to get ready for school. Army Sergeant Kyle Flieger tells us about one of the many preparations parents must make. The growing list of childhood vaccinations reads like an alphabet soup. Hep A, Hep B, IPV, PCV. Parents dragging their kids to the doctor's office for their annual immunizations update can expect to get another, chicken pox. Captain Kevin Koch of the U.S. Army Health Clinic Livorno explains. It is recommended that uh, if you haven't had your varicella immunizations that you go to the nearest Army or Air Force clinic uh, near your facility in order to obtain the immunizations. For those who don't like the needle, it's not over yet. And it's important that they get the first shot when they're younger and uh, within six months to a year from there they should get their second one. All immunizations for school-age children must be up to date for school registration. Army Sergeant Kyle Flieger, AFN, Camp Darby, Italy. For more information on immunizations, contact your local health clinic. That wraps things up for AFN Europe's News Watch on the net. Tune in AFN PowerNet and AFN Eco Radio stations for continuous updates on military, national, and international news. I'm Leah Ortiz, and thanks for stopping by News Watch on the net.